What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I am back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty. And today, we're taking it back a little bit. Um, we're playing the Washington State Cougars. And if you guys are new to my channel at all, a lot of you guys may be, a lot of you guys may already know about this. But, in my uh, previous NCAA 14 uh, Dynasty, um, I did the Washington State Cougars. And I did about a couple seasons in that, and in the first year I finished um, seven and six, and the next year I finished I think uh, nine and four, or ten and three, or something. But we did pretty good. We made bowl games in both those uh, years. But all of a sudden, I just I just kind of stopped and didn't have an Xbox 360 anymore. Got this new one. I know you guys are look, asking me like, where's the real names? Where's the where's you know this name and that name? You know. I know you guys have been asking those questions to me, and I see every comment, trust me, I know. Um, but this Xbox 360 that I have, uh, with the house that I live in right now, that isn't possible right now, and I hate to say it, like, I can't get real names in there unless I do it manually, and that would take forever, and I really don't have the time for that to just sit there and manually put in every single name, uh, especially since... You know, I, I have other series to do. I have other things in my life to do. So I, I understand your guys' concerns about the real names, but let's be honest here. Let's just push it forward about a, another year or so, you know. Put this in the front of your minds real quick. Like, what what player from the UAB is actually going to be there anymore now that they don't have a football program uh, when they do come back next year in 2016? Um, you know, they're probably going to start fresh. Like, just go back, you know. But anyway, we're going to put a few of these recruits on visits uh, towards the later part of the year so we can get some more points in case other teams have interest in him as well. But we're going to just push it forward for there. I know you guys have had concerns about my recruiting. Um, I am trying to get as many players as I can possibly filled up for those positions uh, that I absolutely need. I know my quarterbacks are young. I have a senior quarterback um, starting today named Jason Johnson. Um... He's going to be starting for the next couple weeks because uh, Justin Cutler, as you're about to see here during the game, uh, in the injury report, um, he has a broken rib, and he's going to be out for a couple weeks. So, unfortunately for him, uh, we're going to go with the backup for now. But if you guys did enjoy the pregame, make sure you guys drop that like and show your support for the game. As you see, Kirk Herbstreit does have us winning, and I will see you all in the game. Peace. Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. In Birmingham, Alabama at the Old Gray Lady, the Blazers of UAB have taken the field and they're hoping they can blaze a trail to a home victory today. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. All right, so we're here at UAB Stadium here against the Washington State Cougars as the UAB Blazers are looking to go 2-1 and one on the season. And we're going to try and make Washington State fall to 1-2 and two as well. As um, last week, we're just going to try and put behind us. Last week, we got our asses pretty much handed to us, and it wasn't pretty. If you guys haven't seen it yet, like definitely go check it out. Um, it's going to be in the playlist in the description. Uh, make sure you guys check out the playlist and make sure you guys see everything that's going on with the Dynasty. If you guys miss anything... Uh, be sure to check that out. But you see Justin Cutler is out for a couple weeks, like I said in the beginning. And uh, that's not good for us because he's our, one of our best players. And we need our best players in order to win games. So we got to obviously want our team healthy in order to at least make bull eligibility. Because that's, that's what the program wants. It's what it basically needs. This program is in deep shit. Um, but a lot of you said that's just an understatement. But you see right there, we do come up with the interception. And UAB gets the ball back. Um, off the first pass thrown by the uh, Washington State offense there by DeAndre, uh, yeah, DeAndre Carter, the Washington State quarterback. We hand it off to Keith Brown, picks up a first down, gain of three. Not really something that's special, but it's enough to get the job done. So third down and five. 
Johnson over the middle, and it's dropped by Warren. Not really. It's not good. We cannot have drop passes. That's not good. That's not good at all. But we're going to go for it here on fourth down and five. Same play, just different guy that I'm going to probably go to. Looking over the middle this time to Ryan Marshall. And Ryan Marshall picks up the first down for the UAB Blazers. So second down and six here at about the... 22 yard line over the middle this time to Darrell Urban and Darrell Urban picks up another first down to about the 10 yard line and now we're now we're in business now we're in business the offense is finally getting going but this time we do have a different quarterback so this if if he ends up doing well there might be some quarterback controversies and dual quarterback play and whatnot um, we might have to switch up some formations but Jason Johnson definitely looking good on that first drive seven of nine and that is a really good first impression so he is definitely First impressions do last, so I'm hoping that he can impress me more, and maybe I can give him the starting job. But of course, we don't—we all don't like quarterback controversy. But if he does do well, guys, I want you to know in the comment—I want to know in the comment section what you guys think about um, a possible quarterback change. So keep that in mind. Like, watch the rest of the game. And don't miss a single heartbeat on offense on our offensive side, and not miss a whole beat this entire game. Uh, even win or lose, if he does well, let me know. Uh, because that would be really, really uh, helpful for me to uh, go forward in this dynasty for the rest of the season at least. Because Jason Johnson is a senior, and um, we know Justin Cutler's a sophomore, so uh, he still has time left, and we hope that he can at least, um, you know, sit and maybe improve a little bit. Um, we all know that uh, when it comes to um, overalls, they really can't go down in NCAA. So I'm hoping that if he if Jason Johnson improves or continues to impress me, I might just give him the starting job. But that's all up to you guys. I really want you guys' uh, feedback on that. So we do hold a Washington State to a field goal right here with just about 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. Kick is up, and it's right through the uprights. It's good. It is now 7-3 UAB. So now Jason Johnson drops back, looking over the middle to Ryan Marshall again. First down UAB. But now we just cannot make mistakes. That is our biggest problem. We end up making too many mistakes sometimes. And they're sending the blitz right at us. But I throw it to the wrong guy. And Dunn is going to take this to the house. No one's catching him. Touchdown, Washington State Cougars. It's now 10-7. But on the ensuing kickoff, here is Cunningham taking it out of the end zone again. And it's not like we already had bad starting position. But this makes it a lot worse with a personal foul clipping call on the receiving team so it's going to push us all the way back to the eight yard line and that is no bueno for our offense so now third down and 16 at the two jason johnson drops back i'm trying not to stop too far back so i don't want to end up having a safety but i get a dart off to matt weiss for a pickup of 16 into first down so now we're trying to go on third down and three here as we're going to try and look for the tight end over the middle and i get a good look at like the very possible like second there but he stuck his hand in there in the very last second and it was a good play on his part I felt like I could have squeezed, squeezed it in there, but I didn't. So here is Carter once again. Drops back, looking to the right side. It's Peterson down to the right sideline, and he takes it to about the 25-yard line after he gets pushed out. Pickup of 26 on the play, and now they're going to run their no-huddle offense, which is very deadly. This team can score at will. So now throwing a screen pass. It's intercepted by Smith. I read that like a book. And you know, a lot of things about this game. Like, this, the screen pass is so easy. It can either be really good for your defense or really bad. Most of the time, I'm able to detect it and pick it out real quick. But you see, I threw it right back to him as that is an interception on our end. But a thing about the screen pass is I can really usually just – I know when the screen pass is about to happen. So, I can either be – it can be really good for our defense. It can be really bad. But sometimes when they have, like, those two running backs and then they throw the screen pass on the opposite side of, of a, that I'm thinking of, then I'm totally screwed. So Jerry Kendrick picks up 32 yards on that play. And, yeah, the Washington State quarterback has been struggling. DeAndre Carter has been struggling today. Throw, has thrown two picks already, not a single touchdown pass. But, you see, they tried to throw the screen pass again, and the defense is right there to make the stop. So, again, good part on the defense to at least sniff out the play and know what's going on. That's always good, right? So the kick is up here for Washington State. It's good. It's now 13-7. At least it wasn't 17-7 because now we have a chance to take the lead again and possibly switch the momentum back to our side. So first and 10 for us. Jason Johnson drops back, gets it out to Keith Brown, bounces it to the outside, gets to about the 34-yard line, picks up the 17 on the play, and a first down. 
Great way to start off the drive, too. Great way to start off the drive. Second down and eight. We're going to try and run a stick play. Underneath, we got our tight end, Weiss. He picks up another pickup of about 12. So Weiss has been playing a pretty good role in this offense so far. Even though he hasn't had a great season, he's having a pretty good game so far today. So Johnson drops back looking for that screen pass again and bounces it to the outside again, and he gets shoestringed or leg stringed, I suppose, for a pickup of seven yards and a first down. And we're moving the ball pretty efficiently on offense today. I would say. So Johnson drops back, looking over to the left side. It's uh, Zach Jones this time for a pickup of 21. And now it's third down and eight. We got Weiss wide open. Touchdown, UAB. It is now 14 to 13. We finally have some momentum on offense. We can finally move the ball somewhat. Then again, I'm not saying that Washington State's defense is, like, absolutely god-awful. So I remember playing with these guys, you know, in my Washington State dynasty. They were actually decent. Uh, most of the time, I was able to live with it. Um, but, um, <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm, I'm just saying, like, it's compared to LSU, LSU is a gauntlet on defense. And I, I, I had a hard time. I would admit, I had a rough time trying to even get to midfield against that defense. And it was just, it was a bad time for me I, I playing that game. I had a really bad game against LSU. And you, you, if you see that, you know, you'll, you'll know, like, it's not fun playing these, those guys. But here again, first and 10 for Washington State. Their quarterback, Carter, throws it over Walker this time. Walker to the 20 to about the 17 and a half or 16 and a half yard line. And now it's second and 10 here with just a minute and two seconds left in the half. Here's Peterson in motion. And Morris tries to do the man coverage right, but oh, he gets burned on the play down to about the two. And now it's a 15 yard pickup and a Washington State first and go. So, first and goal here, very next play. Two running backs in the backfield, but Carter's going to look over the middle, and it's Paul Brown for the touchdown. And it's now 20-14, to 14, Washington State. This team can put up points. This team can put up points. Johnson looking over the middle to Weiss. Gets taken down immediately after he catches it. Pick up a 16 on the play. And now, again, first and 10. We're trying to do a hurry-up offense, trying to get a quick score before halftime. Here's Johnson again. Gets it out to Weiss and a first down pickup of 23 this time. Weiss has been pretty effective today. Second and 10 now. Johnson looking over the middle. It's Weiss again. Third straight time. 25 yard pickup this time. The, the yardage just keeps on increasing. But unfortunately, we can't, we can't increase it on this play because we're, we're too close to the end zone. But that's actually a good thing for us. So off to Lee Williams. And Lee Williams gets his second touchdown of the game. It is now. 21 to 20 we are putting up points efficiently on offense and that's always a good thing so now third quarter begins let's see if we can continue that trend over the middle to manning and manning breaks a tackle and he's getting chased by smith who gets taken down at about the 37 yard line after a pickup of 39 on the play and man this defense has not looked good against washington state's offense this is is it spells disaster for me. So Carter again looking over the middle to Brown. And Brown has that speed and gets that first down again to pick up of 19 on the play. So first and 10 again, very next play. This Washington State offense is moving and it's deadly. Dawson in motion, looking. Here is Carter throwing it in. It's caught by Tatis or Tun Tun Tutton Tuttons. 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 Say that three times fast. Tuttons. 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 First and goal. Here for Washington State. Handoff here to Dawson, and Dawson gets the touchdown. It's now 26 21, but guess what? They're going to go for two. They're going to go for two. So they want that touchdown lead. A smart play. Carter over the middle, caught by Brown. Two point conversion, good. 28 21. And yes, since this is a new Xbox 360 uh, account, it's not Xbox Live. I plan on trying to get X uh, Xbox Live soon. Uh, so you, I can just try and get my gamer tag back and stuff. But anyway, I threw it off my back foot on that play, and that was a big mistake. So I have to punt the ball away again. So Carter handing it off, and Carter's got room, or Dawson's got room to run for a pickup of 14 on the play for Washington State. Second and 10 here. The Washington State offense has been grooving this entire game. Outside of the turnovers, you know this offense is lethal. Um, Another pickup for of 13 by Paul Brown on the screen pass. And that's first and 10 again. As we're just trying to just 
stop the bleeding. Carter again, left side, caught by Dawson. Makes a guy miss, makes two guys miss, and he gets the touchdown, making it 35-21. Washington State starting to run away with it. So second and five, we're gonna try and stop the bleeding ourselves on offense. You see um, Brown takes the handoff first down UAB. And we, I mean, we haven't run the ball much because we're playing catch up all the time and you know the past game has been working so we have to like I guess every now and then just try and run the ball not too much because now we're trying to play really bad catch up uh, we're, we're we're squirting out more catch up than the bottles uh, but we gotta stop the bleeding uh, this is really bad right now so third down and two obviously we didn't get the first down right there so a fourth and fourth play we're gonna go for here in enemy territory so we I feel like we have a good chance here to get it and we do Lee Williams has been playing a huge role today. Picks up 13 on the play, and it's another UAB first down. So we keep the drive alive. Second down and one here for UAB. We're going to try and run the counter play, and Keith Brown gets the first down inside the 15-yard line. Pickup of nine yards, and he hasn't been doing terrible, but we try to just we, – we want to get this game back to an even level quick. Because we don't really have, like, I would say we have plenty of time left, but we really kind of don't. Time is getting down to the last quarter now, and we really need to get our asses in gear. Because if we can't stop this Washington State offense, uh, we're not going to win this game, obviously. Because we're losing by now by seven because of J Jason Donchins' one-yard touchdown run. But we need to force a turnover again. That's our biggest thing. We That's the only way we've been staying in this game is because we've been forcing turnovers. But then again, we've been making turnovers ourselves. So Carter again underneath the Washington. Washington to almost about the 45-yard line, pickup of 13 yards. And the Washington State offense, of course, is grooving. It's, it's running on all cylinders. This thing is perfect right now. Dawson in motion. Here is Carter. Drops back. Looking to Dawson, he gets that first down and more on that third down play. And that play right there where they have the receiver, the, the running back in motion over to the to the wideouts, it's it's a killer. It's Especially with slow linebackers like this, it's, it's a killer. You know, he can't keep up with a running back. So Carter again looks. And it's could have, that's a really lofty pass, but they were able to complete it to Paul Brown for a pickup of eight and another first. So first and ten here for Washington State. They're doing that play again. And let's see if they go to the running back. No, they don't. They go to the corner of the end zone to Tuttons. Tuttons and it's now 42-28. This is just this is just a bad display of defense for two straight weeks. Our, our week one in our offense, our defense looked amazing. But not so much not anymore. Not not this game. Not for the past couple of weeks. 42 points plus giving up two straight weeks. It's a killer. So Ryan Marshall again gets another reception. That's his fourth catch of the game. Offense has been looking really good. Um there are times where we have turnovers, just bad turnovers, and we try to limit those. But honestly, you know, today, as far as the offense goes, our offense looked great. It's still looking pretty good. We just haven't played much defense. You see Zach Warren right there pick up an, uh, another first down. Third down and 14 once again. Here is uh, Jason Johnson throwing it deep to Weiss again. Down to the 15-yard line. Pick up of 21 on the play, and it's another first down. First and 10, very next play. We're going to try and push this one in for the end, into the end zone. You see Johnson scrambling for his life. Gets it off to Baker. Gets the first down and goal pickup of 11. And now we just need a touchdown. We just need a touchdown, guys. We just need a touchdown. But if we get the touchdown, we force a turnover, or something just crazy just happens, we might be able to get back in this game. You see Lee Williams once again getting another touchdown. He's been killing it in the red zone today as far as getting touchdowns goes. And it's now 42-35. So now, again, first and 10, Washington State. Here's Carter dropping back. Find a loss of pass up for Paul Brown. And Paul Brown gets out of bounds, getting tackled. They've thrown for over 400 passing yards so far today. This is killing our defense. Our defense has not looked good at all. So here's Carter again looking to the right side, caught by Tuttons. And Tuttons down to the, about the 39 yard line, pickup of eight yards and another first down for Wazoo. First and 10 again for Wazoo. Carter looking to the left side. It is going to be caught by Tuttons again. First down. And Tuttons has been killing it so far. Just killing it. Carter 30 of 40 for well over 400 yards passing. And just absolutely killing it so far for Washington State. Again off to Tuttons. Tuttons has been the man of the drive. And he gets another touchdown. His second one of the game. And it's now 49-35. We have been looking really bad today on defense. And it's absolutely pitiful. So now... We're just trying to, you know, keep ourselves in this game. But you see right here, Dunn comes up with his second interception of the game. But this time, he's not going to take it for six. We're not going to allow that to happen. But later on in the drive, it's second down and goal. 
30 seconds left in the game. Handoff, Dawson, touchdown, and it's now a 21-point game as this one's pretty much in the bag with 30 seconds left in one timeout. But that does not mean I give up. No, not at all. I want to score. I want to score badly. I'm not getting blown out by 21 points again. Not, not today. But now here's Weiss. Looks like he could have got dragged down by his face mask, but they didn't give it to him. But we got to hurry up on offense. So we got to get going. Um, but we do end up scoring a touchdown later on in the drive to make it 46-42. or 56 42. And we recover the onside kick. So that's always a good thing there. We got it. We got it back. And now with 11 seconds left, Look at this play. Look at this play. We, Lee Williams. Lee Williams having himself a ball game. Just goes monstrous on this reception. 63-yard touchdown. As you see, I got the achievement. So now it's 56-49. Three seconds left. I got to go for the onside kick. But unfortunately, Washington State recovers, and we end up not winning the game. Just imagine if I would have recovered that onside kick, guys. Just imagine. I would have had a shot to at least tie the game, and that would have been the that would have been the craziest comeback. Thirty seconds, it's a twenty-one point comeback in thirty seconds. That'd have been the most insane thing ever. But anyway, guys, if you guys did enjoy, drop a like. I know you guys really like the dynasty. You guys are always asking me, "Where is it at? Where is that?" Well, here it is on in front of your screen. But drop a like. You guys have been killing it on the like support. Make sure you guys are uh, subscribing to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Um, links in the description. Also, it's uh, at the end of the video, so you guys can see a little promotion there. Eh, eh, eh. But I am glad that you guys are enjoying this. You guys are begging for more, and I will get to you guys more Dynasty as soon as I possibly can. But until then, my name is Sim with Vengeance, and I, you guys have been amazing. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers. This is that's incredible, guys. You guys have been killing it so far, and I hope to continue to kill it more for you guys. But until then, my name is Sim with Vengeance, of course. And I'm out of here. Peace.